Hey there, it's Kat and this is Brews and Reviews. So it's January and I am feeling in the mood to unhaul things and that is not a mood that comes upon me often because I am a hoarder. Like, no joke. It's really difficult to get me to get rid of books. So, hmm. I'm in the mood and I'm like, I'm doing it. I'm doing it before the mood passes. And you know what, I can replace the books that I'm getting rid of with books that I am more likely to read. So I decided to have a look around and I found Books and Lars Book Unhaul Challenge and I'm, I'm going to be doing that now. So the way that this challenge works is that there is a bunch of prompts and you answer the prompts with a book and then you unhaul that book. So we're going to get right into it. Prompt number one is a book you rated low and so I struggled with this one because I actually like to keep some of the books that I rated low and I know that seems like really stupid but um, I like being able to go like don't read that book, don't read this book, and just be able to hold it and be like, wow, this book really hacked me off. And you know what? I, I like to keep some of those. So for this prompt, I'm going to be doing something that I rated three stars, but like a low three stars and something that I actually just don't care about. So it's low and it's not low enough to actually impact me in a way that I wouldn't remember it or wouldn't talk about it because I just, to be honest, I don't even remember what happened in this book and like that's how probably should have been rated lower but I just don't care. So the book I'm talking about is Electric Dreams by Philip K. Dick. Um, this is a series of short stories and they're sci-fi ones and I didn't care. I don't really think I gel with short stories but this one specifically I was just like eh whatever and I don't remember anything that happened in any of them so this is getting on hold. Prompt number two is a book that you changed your mind about and oh my god, <laughs> this one's probably not going to earn me any more subscribers because this is a sort of favourite of a lot of people and I just don't think I got it. So the book in question is The Princess Bride by William Goldman. Now this is less that I changed my mind about it once I was like, like after I'd read it. I grew up with the film The Princess Bride and I love that film so much to like the core of my being I love that film. So I waited until I was about uh, 16 to read this book. I picked it up and I just didn't like it. It was just a style that I really didn't enjoy and it was written really weirdly and I didn't think it actually did the story. It was very rambly and went on tangents as far as I remember. It's been like 11 years since I read it so and I just don't know why I kept it. Like, because I didn't enjoy this book and I, I just feel like I changed my mind on it because I thought I was going to be really excited about it. I was really like, yeah, this is going to be a great book because I have that nostalgic love for the film and it just wasn't good. And so I changed my mind about it. I thought it was pretty rubbish, to be honest. And uh, sorry, it just wasn't for me. It might be for you. Uh, the writing style was really not something I gelled with so that's probably the greatest influence of this and because I had so much of a love for the film this was very different to that but yeah so um I think it's time I unhold this one. Prompt number three is a series you won't be completing and oh okay again I'm not gonna get a lot of love for doing this. It's the Terry Pratchett Discworld series. There are so many books in this series and I, I only have I have five of them I've read all five of these like it, it's a humour that a lot of people really seem to gel with and really seem to like. I just didn't. Like it was fine, it was sort of funny but I don't know, I just didn't care. The only saving grace for me was death and uh, well, he wasn't in these enough. Maybe one day I'll read The Hogfather but I'm not going to be continuing on with the series. I haven't read one of these for years, like it's got to be over 10 years now since I read one of these and I just I'm not going to go back to it so I don't know why I've kept them and I'm going to unhaul them so that somebody can have you know more enjoyment out of this and yes this one did get a bit battered because I lent it to my dad in the sun that wasn't me that like did this to the poor page. Prompt number four was a book that I DNF'd and to be honest with you I don't actually have one that I can get rid of. Um, most of my DNF's have been audiobooks in like the last couple of years and I don't know. I don't know what I've done with others. It's not like a big thing that I actually do, DNF books. And I don't have one, so I can't really unhaul anything here, but we're just going to skip this question and it is fine. It's fine. I just got rid of five books in a series rather than just the one, so I feel like that counts to balance the thing out. Challenge number five is a book that you have multiple copies of, and I have two here, which I'm very happy to get rid of. I've been meaning to get rid of them. I've been like, why are they taking up my shelf space? Because I have nicer copies, so why do I still have them? 
Mm. And these books are Unnatural Exposure and From Potter's Field by Patricia Cornwell. They are super ugly covers and I bought them because they were like 50p in a charity shop. And I was like, okay, well, alright then. But I got way nicer covers of these, also from a charity shop, also for like 50p. So obviously I bought them again and I like the other covers way more. So I'm going to return these to the charity shop and someone else can enjoy them even though they're ugly. Maybe someone who cares less about aesthetics. Prompt number six is a book you'll never actually get to. So I didn't really want to pick this one, but also I had to face facts. It's been on my shelves for probably 12 years now and I haven't read it and I haven't got the urge to read it and I should probably just pass it on so someone else can enjoy it. And that is Let the Right One In by John Avid Lindquist. I think that's how you pronounce his name, sorry if it's not. And this is, I believe, a Swedish vampire novel and I watched the film, the original film, and now I watched the American film. And then I think I was satisfied that I had had enough of this, but I had already bought the book, so... Hmm, yeah, not gonna read this one. Even though it does sound cool, I think the atmosphere would be really good, but... I'm never gonna pick it up. I'm just not. I, I just know that I'm not picking this up, so... It's going in the unhaul pile. Prompt number seven is a book that you bought because of the hype, and oh, if I'm not gonna get hate for this one... Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn and um, I bought it because everyone seemed to love it. Everyone was like, oh my god, Gone Girl, the film is amazing, oh my god, Gone Girl, the book is amazing and I picked it up despite not really seeing the draw in it and it's just sat on my shelves and I, it's like taunting me going, read me, read me because everyone says you should and I don't want to. I, d I don't know why I don't want to but I don't and it's just sat there. Again, I got this one from a charity shop, it was like a pound, but still, it's just gonna sit here. I'm not gonna read it. So, sorry hype, this meant nothing, just that I always did a pound. Prompt number eight is a book that you bought because of the cover, and that is The Dice Man by Luke Reinhardt. I thought the cover was cool, I thought it would be kind of like some sort of thriller, uh, maybe a murdery type thing. I thought maybe someone rolls a dice to decide whether you live or die, and then I never picked it up. I've had this one for about nine years, and um, I couldn't tell you what it's about. I, I mean, it sounds interesting. The problem is it's chunky, and like, it's got like this really ugly, thick font, and I don't like it. So I probably was never gonna read this one, despite keeping it around, because I thought, thought, it does look interesting. It looks interesting but it doesn't actually make me want to pick it up, so, yeah. Prompt number nine is a book that you don't know anything about, and yeah, I really don't even know what this one's about. Um, Angel of the Dark by Tilly Bagshaw, and, or is it Sydney Sheldon's? Is it Sydney Sheldon? I don't understand, why are there two, why are there two authors? How much, seriously, how little do I know about this book? I don't even know which is the author and like what the hell's going on with that. Did somebody die and then finish off the... Do you know what? I don't even care. I'm unhauling this. I don't care. I don't know what it's about. I don't know where I got it and I don't know who the author is. So yeah, I think it's about time I let this one go. Then lastly, the tenth prompt is a book that I didn't buy and for that one I'm going with Gregor the Overlander by Suzanne Collins. I got this as a gift, I didn't buy it, I have had it since I first read The Hunger Games at about age 16, so it's like 11 years, basically a long time. I'm not gonna read it. I'm never gonna read it. It's time to say goodbye. I think it's like a portal fantasy. Hmm, I don't know. Not for me. Someone else can enjoy it. So yeah, those are the books that I'm gonna be unholding for this challenge, but I kind of feel like I'm not done. I think I might unhaul some more things. I feel like this has been kind of cathartic in getting rid of a lot of things that are on my shelves that I don't think I'm ever going to read. It's made me kind of face facts that I am not going to read everything that's on here. I've picked things up, not read them at the time, and then now I am the person that I am today. I'm probably not going to read a lot of the things that I picked up and that's okay. And I feel good about it. And I think I might unhaul some more things because I think there are other things on here that just fit into the I'm never gonna read that category. I don't know. Do you think I shouldn't unhaul any of those? I mean, I, it doesn't really matter if you think that I shouldn't unhaul any of them because I am going to. I've made up my mind about that and that's just where I'm going with it. So they're gone. Forever. Forever.
Goodbye. Goodbye books. Goodbye. There's a pile on the floor. I'm waving at them. Goodbye. Anyway, <laughs> obviously this is slightly traumatizing to my brain, even though it does feel good. I, like the other half of me is like, don't get rid of the books. Don't get rid of them. But like this half of me is like, get rid of them. You order. Get rid of them. So this side is winning. Get rid of the books. That's what I've done here. Now I'm rambling at you. Oh well, if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!